yes, you are on the ice alone. And ultimately, when it comes down to it, when you perform, when you're doing all these things, you, you're putting yourself into it. You're putting as much as, of your own emotion and your own heart and your own soul into into the skating. But that being said, I think the special thing about skating too is that you can also portray a character. You can also portray someone that you want to be or someone that you envision yourself you could be. Um, and I think just having that sort of allowance of imagination is, is something that makes the sport especially special. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nathan Chen. You know, I never imagined that I'd ever be able to be in a position to even make one Olympic team, let alone two. So. Uh, to be in this position is amazing and, you know, I'm really excited for it. You know, ultimately, I think that as long as people saw that I tried my best, I think that's all that really matters. You know, the wins, the losses, they all sort of are a part of my story, but I don't think those are the, the main focal points. I think it mostly just comes down to me trying my very best every time I had the opportunity to. I certainly was not the first to do quads. I certainly am not going to be the last to do quads. I certainly played a role in, in, you know, increasing the number of quads or increasing the intent to do to, to do a, a larger number of quads. Um, but the sport is constantly changing. You know, I know, I have no idea what the sport is going to look like five, ten years from now. You know, I didn't. I don't think anyone, you know, ten years ago would have thought that this is what we would be doing in the sport. So everyone else quickly did what I did too. So it's not like you know what I did was so exceptional is just that you know we all had this capability of doing it we just didn't we just needed a push to do it um but that being said you know we're now having more pushes um, and i'm really excited to see you know where the future of skating can go my parents definitely did struggle financially as as when i was growing up they definitely provided whatever opportunities you know we wanted meaning you know if my sisters wanted to dance they would figure out a way to support us my brothers wanted to play hockey, they would figure out a way to support us. If I wanted to skate, they would figure something out. Um, but that also led me to people like uh, like Michael Weiss, who, you know, had this amazing foundation to support young athletes and um, to buy a pair of skates and be able to pay for lessons and all that was almost out of, out of you know, the question. But, um, you know, fortunately with people like Michael Weiss to give me uh, just the basic resources I needed to get on the ice. And then my mom was still with me every single day, taking notes on all the lessons. Having her by my side, you know, it would not have been possible without that. I think the main thing that I learned from 2018 is just, you know, how to set the right mindset going to, into a competition. Jumping now definitely becomes a lot more algorithmic, I would say. It's something that I'm very comfortable doing, but I, like, I know the steps in order to make it happen. But the first time you do any new element, it's like just the biggest rush of emotions and feelings and everything. because. Especially knowing, especially with elements that you're like, I need this element if I want to have a chance of making an Olympic team, a world team, a national team, you know, any of these, any of these, uh, these dreams that you set out for yourself as a young kid. So, you know, as soon as you accomplish that, it's like, oh my God, I can make it. And I think just being able to have that, that experience and that, that feeling. Um, and then on top of that, you know, having the actual jump itself is like pretty cool, pretty cool element to be able to do on the ice. Every, almost every single minute of my waking life was dedicated to skating. That obviously as an athlete we want to win, but that's not all there is to being an athlete. Um, and then as soon as I went to college, you know, exams are on the board and you know, all these P-sets are on the board and all these just different, uh, different sort of responsibilities are aligned that I didn't previously had. Before I go to the Olympics, I'll probably be, you know, sitting and watching Netflix or something like that. And then when I come back from the games, whether I skate well, whether I don't skate well, you know, I'm probably going to be doing something similar. So I think, you know, having realized that, yes, skating is very important when I'm on the ice, you know, there is the, the possibility for me to also do other things um, that are just as fulfilling. Hopefully, you know, doors will continue to open for me and I'll, I'll be able to uh, continue finding things that I'm passionate about. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.